Well, my tracking has been successful because we found all four of the Birminghams sitting north of the Buffelzook boundary. Unfortunately, there is no view from the boundary itself. They're drinking at Tamburti Dam, which is pretty much where I thought they would be. Well, somewhere in that general vicinity. So all four are together just north of the dam. There's a few vultures around, so I don't know if maybe, just maybe, these boys have got a kill somewhere here. Apparently, they came from the north, but we could hear them calling, and then we radioed the guys, and they went and had a little look, and they found them right here. It's literally not even 100 meters from where we are, but we can't see them because they're down in the dam itself. So hopefully, they'll come up towards the dam wall and come see south towards us but here comes one of the vultures gonna cross through our sunrise set I mean sunrise there we go sunrise for the win straight through there we go <laughs> so maybe somebody can screenshot our vulture passing through our sunrise and maybe that can be our entry into sunrise competition the sun with a vulture flying through it what do you think Senzo yeah perfect exactly now of course our sun is quite high already so it is bright and it is looming and giving a lot of golden light and what we're going to do is we're going to just sit here and, and wait and hope that our four male lions decide to move southwards from this dam or at least if not move southwards just lie on top of the dam wall because that will at least then give us some view of them where they are now unfortunately the Tambuti dam is a bit of a bowl and so we're on the southern side of Tambuti dam where the, the dam wall is and so we actually can't see into the dam itself it's it drops down quite heavily from here and it becomes very difficult to actually see what's going on so i want to try and hope that these guys do move a little bit closer towards the road and we'll at least get some view of them and with the sun heating up and them just having a drink now it's possible that i think they might just lie down in the dam in the bowl there and we're not going to get too much from them I'm just trying to see if we can't get some sort of a view um, let's maybe go quite high up on the other side and maybe we can look down and back towards the dam itself and we'll get a little bit lucky but it seems as though unfortunately they're inside the dam itself and that means that we're not going to get too much from them it's so crazy that they are literally from this distance now maybe 50 meters to our northern side not even they are I mean that's 25 meters maybe and we can't see them crazy eh? it just shows you how life goes and how difficult things can be sometimes but I was saying it sounded like a lot of them and well there we go four male lions is a lot of lions and that's probably why we could see them now I mean could hear them now Senzo you just keep an eye out on the back there maybe you'll be able to spot them as I climb here it's difficult though there's so much bush around Tamburti Dam that we don't really get much of a view no, from this side, unfortunately. Ah, uh, so Senzo says he can see them, which is at least uh, some view. Say, so, so how far, Senzo? There's fine. Forward. Okay, I'm gonna go forward for you a little bit. Say when. Oh, uh, there we go. I can see them now as well. So it's not a great view, guys. I do apologize, but. It is, I think, cats somewhere in amongst all of that. Where are they now? Somewhere there. Is it not them between the green bush there? In the back. It's going to be difficult for Senzo to get focus through all of that. Are you sure, Senzo? Oh, there it is. There you can see the head of one of the Birmingham's. So, cat streak continues even though it's not a great view it is somewhat of a view of the Birmingham's and a dawn chorus from them would be wonderful to hear hopefully they will roar one last time because all four of them together it is so cool to hear them and I'm surprised that all four are together I wonder like I was saying just now if this threat of these six other young upstart males being here has caused these guys to get into a situation where they're now a little bit more wary of what's happening and they want to come in and show a bit of force and come together and if that is the case then the Birmingham's have ticked a box that they haven't had before now so they have had a situation where they've been dominant for a while they haven't had too many threats there hasn't been too many other lions in the area to cause any trouble and so all of a sudden there's these six young males around and it seems as though they've all decided to get up and get together and to show a force So apparently they've all just gone to sleep because they are full, 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 full. So they don't think they're going to come south onto Juma. And what we're going to be left with is, well, that view there. So a nice thick bush. And I think they're all going to lie down. To identify who is who is really almost impossible from this angle. 
Um, it looks like both of those individuals have got big full mains, which all the Birminghams do these days, and to tell who is who at the moment is pretty much impossible from a picture like this. Do you want me to roll back slightly, Senzo? Let's just see if I roll back. I might be able to get that little gap there that we can just see their faces slightly from over there. How's that? Is that a bit better? No? Yes? Maybe? Not really. A little bit better. So that looks like Tinio closest to us. I'm not 100% sure, like I say, but it looks like it might be Tinio closest to us. Then behind him is anyone's guess. It's a lion that is lying flat and sleeping. So really not sure who that is. And like I say, I mean, they all four are there. So we know that all four of the Birminghams are doing fine. They're full and fat, apparently, which means they must have found something. And that must mean why we've got vultures in this area and why... We heard multiple roars. It also could be why they're all together. Of course, it could be nothing to do with young individual lions that are here. It could just be the fact that there was food and they all decided to come together because of the food that they've got. Is that Tinio or Mfumo? Or uh, impossible? I don't know. Maybe somebody with, can screenshot it and try and get some sort of identification. Really difficult to see. It literally is just with our eyesight, I can't see it at all. So, you know, it's only with the camera that we're managing to get some sort of view of these four individuals and it's always worth the risk to come up higher on the bank and to try and look i don't know if that is tenure it might be it almost looks like his left lip is kind of tucked in there might be wrong altogether though difficult hard to say Interesting either way though. It's it's an amazing thing to have all four together. I wonder why Like I say that they are together. I mean yesterday. They were so spread out There was one male that was left going into Biffle's hook. I mean into Manuleti. Um Last night there was one that was around Hardacool camp which is towards Sydney's dam side and the other two nobody knew where they are all of a sudden now the four are together and nobody actually knew where they've come from so it's very very interesting and I and I wonder if maybe two of them weren't here yesterday already because apparently last night the guys were telling me that they were quite full bellied yesterday so I wonder if maybe just maybe they didn't have a kill already and just nobody found them but there they go they're all going down to sleep now so chances of these guys coming south towards us now is pretty much zero as far as I can imagine and that's where they're going to end up sleeping and lying and that's going to be the sum total of the view that we're going to get of the four Birminghams. The thing is, is that it is going to get hot and it's, the sun is bright, which means that these boys are going to be have to, well, they're going to have to move to a shady section and hopefully that shady section is under a tree on the dam wall. There's a beautiful boar bean that grows and a tamburti that grows off the dam wall. And so maybe they'll go and lie on the dam wall itself and then we'll get a really good visual of them. In fact, it will be almost five, five from there. So we're going to hope for that for this afternoon, but for the morning, I'm pretty sure this is what we all we're going to see. I don't think we're going to get much better than that. It's not great, but like I say, at least we were on the money as to where they were around. Now, I'm interested still in the tracks that are further up because there was definitely cat tracks in there. And so I want to just go back and double check exactly what they are and what happened. But maybe the Nkuma Pride is also crossed somewhere in this general vicinity and are also around. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for Senzo as well because there's so many obstructions between us and him that's making his focus really battle. And if we come out, just look how difficult it is to see those lines. So that's why it's not easy. I mean, it's a long, long, long way away and lots of branches and vegetation in the front. And so for his focus, it's pretty impossible to see. And that's the view that we've got. So it just goes to show how difficult it is to see them and, and why Senzo pulled off a good spot there as we got up the hill. But there we go. That's the Birmingham boys, guys. I think we're going to carry on, though. We're not going to stay here because... At